I have not had this much fun building out a UI, I have to say, since like the 2010s when I was messing with Flash. And this is just so freaking fun. So you could check it out yourself, actually, if you go to projectath.net. And you're going to see, um, you could choose the full experience or the light experience because this is meant to be used on desktops or laptops. The full experience here on my PC, if I get out the FPS counter, is actually pretty solid. It's 60 frames per second. It might not be for you, so you might want to choose the light experience. Now, what's also cool about this is if you click on how was this made and you click on watch the videos, I've added uh, a course that shows you exactly step-by-step -step how I built this UI in both Rive and Unicorn Studio. So here's what's happening essentially. I, at the base layer, we have Rive. And if you wanna see what that looks like without Unicorn Studio, just go to index2.html in the URL bar, hit enter. And you'll see this is what Rive itself looks like without the Unicorn Studio layer. So the Unicorn Studio layer is actually positioned on top uh, with a Z index that's higher with a mixed blend mode that allows all the colors and stuff to kind of, I guess you could say mix with the Rive underlayer. And that's why I can hover over this area right here and you can see how this fire effect is interacting uh, with different elements inside of Rive itself. So this is actually pulling real time data from the CoinGecko API as well. So we work as well within cursor to prompt all this into existence in order to communicate with Rive. So there's no writing code, it's all prompting. And so I show you exactly how to do that as well. Um, additionally, performance is obviously gonna be very important. So I show you how to get the FPS counter up here. And I also show you through the Chrome DevTools um, to how to work with CPU throttling to see exactly what you know, type of devices this will work for. So if I choose a mid-tier mobile device, and I refresh here, we'll see that our FPS is still actually pretty solid at 60 frames per second. Um, if you try to use this maybe on a phone or a tablet, it might have a harder time. So it's why we also created a light experience right here, which still uses Unicorn Studio, but it's just not as intensive. There's not as many layers added to it. So performance, obviously very important for this type of thing. You have to understand your, your target demographic. You know, a, a UI like this is more of something that you would see like in a game user interface, as opposed to maybe a website but don't worry, this is available on web. Obviously, you're using it on the browser. So hopefully you enjoy this course. It was super fun for me to experiment and really start to play around with different technology because trust me, Rive, Unicorn Studio, and other tools coming up are going to be really integral in shaping this next design wave that we're seeing kick off in 2025. So hopefully you guys take the course and you start to learn something new. I know I am and I'm having super fun. So I'm releasing a course every month that's based on a project of some sort. And so hopefully, uh, again, you guys check it out and I will see you all very soon.